A UK startup and Microsoft are now pointing to a possible solution to one of the world's biggest technological bottlenecks, long-term data storage. The UK startup is Phonics, which has developed a 5-inch glass-based memory crystal that stores digital information inside fused silica glass using femtosecond lasers. According to the company, this approach allows data to remain stable for up to 13.8 billion years, roughly the age of the universe, without power, cooling, or repeated data migration, making it suitable for cold archival storage. What gives this claim real weight is that Microsoft has been working on the same concept for years. Microsoft began its glass storage research around 2016 under its Project Silica initiative. Since then, the company has publicly demonstrated data written into quartz glass surviving extreme heat, water immersion, scratches, and electromagnetic interference while remaining readable long after traditional hard drives or tape would fail. When a university spin-out and a trillion-dollar corporation independently arrive at the same solution, it usually means the current system is breaking. And it is. Right now, the world is drowning in data that nobody wants to delete. Governments, hospitals, banks, research labs, cloud platforms, everyone keeps everything. Studies show that 60 to 80 percent of all global data is cold data. That's rarely accessed, but it must never be lost. The problem is that the technologies used to store this data were never designed for performance. Hard drives fail often within five years in data center conditions. Tape lasts longer, but it still degrades. When that happens, the data has to be copied to new media, then copied again and again. Over decades, this endless migration cycle burns massive amounts of energy, hardware, and money, just to keep unchanged data alive. From a sustainability standpoint, it's a disaster. This is the reason both Sphonix and Microsoft are betting on glass. Sphonix's claim is the more aggressive and more shocking one. The company says its 5D glass memory crystal technology has moved beyond the lab and will be ready for real data center pilots within two years. According to Sphonix, a 5-inch disk of fused silica glass can store up to 360 terabytes of data using a femtosecond laser. Once written, that data requires no power, no cooling, and no periodic rewriting. It simply sits inside the glass. Then comes the claim that sounds impossible. Sphonix says the data can remain stable for 13.8 billion years. That number isn't marketing hype pulled out of thin air. It comes from material science. Fused silica glass has no known internal decay mechanism at room temperature. It doesn't demagnetize, it doesn't leak charge, it doesn't chemically degrade under normal conditions. If the glass remains physically intact, if it isn't shattered, melted, or lost, the nanoscale structures written inside should remain unchanged for timescales comparable to the age of the universe. That's why Sphonix describes its storage as write once, store forever. The technology behind this is called five-dimensional optical data storage. Data is written inside the glass as tiny nanostructures known as voxels. Each voxel has a three-dimensional position, X, Y, and Z, but it also has an orientation and an optical intensity. Those five independent parameters allow a huge amount of information to be encoded into a very small physical volume. Reading the data back, involves shining a polarized light through the glass and using an optical system to detect how those nanostructures interact with the light. Software then reconstructs the original data. Because the information is stored as physical structure rather than magnetic orientation or electrical charge, it is naturally resistant to heat, radiation, water, and electromagnetic interference. Sphonix did not invent this science overnight. The company was founded in 2024 as a spin-out from the University of Southampton, where researchers have been developing this technology for more than a decade. In 2013, the first successful 5D data recording in glass was demonstrated. In 2018, 
the technology gained global attention when a five-dimensional data crystal was sent into space aboard SpaceX's Falcon Heavy launch, the same mission that carried Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster. That experiment wasn't about storage products, it was about durability. Now, Sphonic says it's ready to commercialize. Its current prototypes achieve write speeds of around 4 megabytes per second and read speeds of roughly 30 megabytes per second. By modern standards, that's slow, and Sphonics admits it. But the company's argument is that cold storage doesn't need speed, it needs reliability, it needs longevity. For archival data, access latencies of several seconds are acceptable if the data is guaranteed to survive. Sphonix has published a roadmap targeting 500 megabytes per second sustained read and write speeds within three to four years. Early system costs are estimated at about $30,000 for a writer and $6,000 for a reader. The company has raised around $4.5 million so far and says it's moving from technology readiness level 5 to level 6, meaning it's transitioning from controlled lab validation to real operational environments. While the UK startup is pushing aggressively toward the market, Microsoft has been working on the same idea from a very different angle, and for much longer. Microsoft's Project Silica began around 2016 inside Microsoft Research, driven by a long-term concern that magnetic storage simply could not scale sustainably with the growth of cloud data. From the start, Project Silica was designed not as a standalone storage experiment, but as a cloud-native archival system built specifically for hyperscale data centers. Project Silica stores data by using ultra-fast femtosecond lasers to write permanent information deep inside quartz glass, creating nanoscale structures that encode data volumetrically rather than on a surface. The data is then read back using polarization-sensitive optical microscopy and decoded through software pipelines that increasingly rely on machine learning models to improve accuracy and correct microscopic variations. Microsoft has publicly demonstrated that data stored this way can survive boiling temperatures, extreme heat, full water immersion, surface scratches, radiation exposure, and electromagnetic pulses, while remaining readable long after hard drives or magnetic tape would fail. Microsoft went a step further to prove this wasn't just a laboratory curiosity. In a widely cited real-world test, the company partnered with Warner Bros. to store a full-length Hollywood movie on glass. The film was Superman, selected specifically because it represents a large production-grade dataset rather than a synthetic test file. Microsoft encoded the entire movie into a quartz glass plate, stored it, and later retrieved it with no data loss. This demonstration showed that Project Silica could handle real archival workloads, not just small research samples. But what truly separates Microsoft's approach is system-level design. Project Silica is built around robotic archival libraries where glass plates sit on completely passive shelves that require no power, no cooling, and no electronics. All complexity is concentrated in the robots and readers. When data is requested, a robot retrieves the specific glass plate and brings it to a reader. The rest of the time, the archive consumes almost no energy. Microsoft describes this as a way to eliminate the endless data migration cycle, allowing data to be written once and left untouched for decades. Microsoft has also emphasized the security implications of this design. Because the glass contains no electronics and requires no power to retain data, it is inherently air-gapped when stored, making it immune to ransomware, remote cyber attacks, and persistent malware. This makes Project Silica particularly attractive for governments, national archives, and regulated industries. Rather than advertising billion-year lifetimes, Microsoft communicates more conservatively, typically framing durability from thousands to tens of thousands of years. This reflects enterprise risk modeling rather than a limitation of the material itself. The underlying physics of quartz glass remains the same. Project Silica is intended to become a future component of Azure's cold and archival storage tiers, where customers interact only with cloud APIs while the storage layer quietly shifts from magnetic media to glass. This sets up a quiet but real competition. Microsoft has scale, capital, and infrastructure. 
It already put total investment well north of $300 million, potentially approaching half a billion dollars over the project's lifetime. So, if glass storage becomes a mainstream cloud service, Microsoft is in a prime position to deliver it. Sphonix, however, is not trying to build a cloud storage service. Its strategy is to license the glass media and optical read-write platform into existing data center architectures. That makes it a potential infrastructure supplier rather than a cloud competitor, a key difference from Microsoft's approach. Sphonix is also not alone in this space. Other startups such as Cerabyte are developing non-magnetic laser-written storage using ceramic materials, reinforcing the idea that the industry is actively searching for alternatives to tape and hard drives. Both approaches face the same hard limit, physics. Writing data into glass means physically forming nanoscale structures with lasers, and that process cannot be rushed without losing precision. Reading the data back requires careful optical scanning of those structures which also takes time. Faster compute can help with decoding, but it cannot remove the need to physically write and scan the glass. This is why glass storage will never be fast or interactive like SSDs. It is designed to trade speed for durability, energy, efficiency, and permanence, making it infrastructure for long-term archives, not everyday use. And that trade-off is exactly the point. Glass storage is not meant to replace SSDs or hard drives. It is meant to replace tape and long-term magnetic archives, the most invisible yet most critical layer of the digital world. The next two years will determine whether the UK startup's aggressive push reaches development before the tech giant's careful system-level rollout. Either way, the implication is the same. For the first time in the digital age, Humanity may have a realistic way to store information longer than civilizations last. But the question is, a two-year startup claim versus a decade of Microsoft research, who actually wins? Comment your take, and if you want the real story behind the world's fastest-moving tech and AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.